Hey guys, what's up? So in uh, this particular video, we are going to understand few important terminologies that we use in artificial neural network. So if we start, at first, the first of all, uh, the first, the very first terminology that we use with ANN is weight. So what actually weight is? So whenever we work with artificial neural network, there is one important factor that we call input. So input is uh, it's a kind of output that we are getting from some other neurons. So once the input is uh, through different sources, it must be associated with some weight. Weight will, what it will do, it basically impact the output. It basically tells that how strong, how weighted the input is. Right. On the basis of that, further work or further result of that neuron will be decided. So for neuron, if we have inputs like x1, x2, x3, then we must have some synaptic weights that will be applied with them that will be denoted as w1, w2, and w3. On the basis of that, what we do, the output is the summation of all the inputs that we have multiplied with their weights. Right. So x1 multiplied with w1, x2, w2, x3 with w3, and their sum will generate the net input for us. Second important terminal bias what bias do is it is an additional parameter say we have uh, some summed values uh, for generating the output of weight and input okay we will have to add a bias with that one why we are adding bias because sometimes we if we are not adding some bias it's like a constant if you are not adding it with the net input then it happen you will always get similar kind of results okay so that will be a poorer fit like what we do with, uh, like you can see this example, right, and x plus c. This is a straight line equation. So why we are using c here? Because if we have c, what will happen? The result will always, the line will always go through the origin 0, 0. That we don't want in case of, uh, say, training a machine. So what we have to do is we have to add an additional constant, some additional parameter. That is called bias. Why I am calling it constant? Because every time bias value will be 1. Okay, its weight could be different, so it could vary, but bias internal value will always be 1. So as you can see in this diagram, we have a bias with value 1. It will also have a weight associated with that one. Then inputs, they will have their own weights associated with them. And then finally, we are getting summed input that we have. So net input now is bias plus the summation of all the inputs that we are receiving multiplied with their weights. Right. And then further it will pass to the activation function. So in this case, bias will be important. Threshold. Threshold is again very important. See this diagram. We are having this summed input. That is sum of all input multiplied by their corresponding weights plus bias value. And this net input is going to be passed to an activation function. This activation function really will decide either that it is receiving by the input net input that this neuron is generating if it should fire or not. Okay, so we must have some predefined values by uh, with which the net input will be compared. Say we are saying that uh, uh, the value is 2. So if we are getting the net input uh, greater than 2 from here or equal to 2, then it will be fired, otherwise not. So that value is threshold. That is basically a value that will uh, either the if the net input for that neuron is greater than or equal to 2, then it will be fired, otherwise not. Okay, so as you can see, if f, f net is 1, if net net is net input, if that is greater than or equals to theta, then okay, it will be fired. If it is less than theta, then minus 1, that means it will not be fired. Okay, so what basically will happen? A comparison is made between the calculated net input and the threshold to obtain the network output. Right? So this comparison is, is important. And we will use an activation function is another analogy that we call learning rate right what learning rate is it is denoted by alpha and why we are going to use it? we are going to use to control the amount of weight adjustment at each step of training so whenever we are training the machine in every step we have to adjust the weight right so how if we are adjusting the weight how we are going to control the amount of weight that is going to be adjusted for that what we will use is the learning rate Say for example, uh, a child, you have a child you're showing uh, him uh, a red furred cat, okay, so, uh, orange furred cat, and you are, uh, the, the baby is going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, up to ten orange furred cat. So 
what he, his mind will understand what he will learn he will learn that any one any animal that is having orange for a cat okay because he don't know that cat could have another fur some after some time you are going to show him that there is another cat which is having black fur then the way then the way the boy or the girl is going to learn um, that a cat may have other colors also that is what the learning rate for that kid right the same way in is in which rate your machine is going to understand the things or going to learn the things okay different things so how you are controlling the amount of weight adjustment for that is what learning rate, right so guys thank you very much for listening in later videos we are going to put some other important terms other important topics of artificial neural network till then keep watching and subscribing thank you very much